y'all it's your girl Zay from the Bay and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be responding to your comments about the creative program beta on TikTok. Um, before I get into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on your post notification let's get me to a thousand subscribers but let's get into these comments um let's see we got what's his name um that that kid Luke he said how long did it take for you to get approved for a creative for a creator fund after applying please answer I need help um, for the creator fund it didn't take long I believe it took like a day or two um, the dashboard took about three days for it's like update and like show me what I made from the video that actually invited me into the creators fund as far as for the creative program beta it does like they have to verify your identity and your age so that takes about two to three days and when you do that make Sorry, sure y'all my camera had died but what I was saying was when you do the creative program beta they ask you to verify your age um, and that takes about three days and then when you do that that's what I was saying when you do that make sure whatever you whatever your name is on your ID like if it's your first name middle name last name that's what you need to put in if it's your first name then your your middle initial and then your last name that's what you need to put in if it's not exactly how it is on your ID they will not verify your age so that's something I kept messing up on by not reading so just make sure you read um, and what else yeah, so that took about three days, and what we say, I'm gonna say it took an additional three days after that for them to um, get my dashboard together for the creative program beta. So the, that's like the time frame between how long it takes. So I'm gonna say seven days, approximately seven days, you'll have to wait for you to be completely done with joining the program. So let's see, we have. Okay, we have JLVC Jr. Um, he asks, do you lose missions if you switch to beta? I do not know. I've never played missions. I never did missions um, at all. So I couldn't even tell you if you will lose your missions. But what I can tell you, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Excuse me. I highly doubt it because... Um, it's all within the same account and it's not like you're switching from actually doing the things for the mission you're just switching what program you're you're wanting to be paid from if that makes sense so but I don't know the answer to that to be quiet that's not a definite answer so I don't know um, I've been getting questions about what if you don't like the creator fund I mean what if you don't like the creator program beta and you want to switch back to the creator fund it literally tells you that you cannot go back to the creators fund once you accepted the creator program beta so just make sure you think really hard about that decision on if that's what you want to do now as an update to the creator pro uh, the creator program video in general I can say do your research so like I told you guys in my previous video I was not all my videos was getting disqualified um, but before I even joined the pre creative program beta I never had posted my face it was a faceless account um, so I had to eventually put my face on it to be honest I started using green screen and gre um, yeah using the green screen and putting my face on top of those videos and kind of giving content uh, and they have been accepting the videos I've also um, realized you can do voiceover so if you was to get a different couple clips and then put them together and do a voiceover they will accept those videos as well another thing that I have learned from these last two months with being in the creator program beta is that your RPM will change based off of how many people are coming to your page I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly but when I first started I know my RPM was like a dollar sixty nine and then once I got another viral video it went down to like a dollar sixty one but overall there's are there is ways that you can make way more money on the creator program beta than what I did on the creators fund on um, one of my videos I got like 1.4 million on I got paid a lot of money if you want to know how much I got paid you gotta stay to the end of the video but all in all there's a lot of different kinks and crevices to the creative program beta that I do feel are more strict than what it was with the creative pro with the creator fund so with the creative program beta you can't have like shocking videos or you know explicit videos or videos with people having their clothes off now not not clothes off like completely naked but like in swimsuits and uh, dancing and twerking with booty shorts and stuff like that I have seen that with videos like that they have been disqualifying those videos for explicit um, content and stuff like that. So you also have to be mindful 
about the content that you are putting on your page. Also, even if you are like transitioning from a faceless account to where you're putting your face on if like green screen, sometimes they disqualify videos if it's excessive logos from other people's content. So I like to post a lot of crime watch videos on my um on my TikTok and if it flashes crime watch logo too many times they they will not accept that video. But if you use a green screen and size your stuff and put it over that then they will so it's just a lot of different things you have to just play around with and learn with tiktok in general let me see is there any other questions on here that i can actually really answer for you guys because everything about tiktok is really self-explanatory once you get into the program you're going to start once you get onto your dashboard you're going to be able to see like everything that you make from each video how many views were qualified because a lot of people think that oh if I if I make another account and go watch my own video several times it's gonna you know make me more money it's not they actually um, have been saying that if you have several TikTok accounts and you're using your other TikTok accounts to try to boost your content on the ones that makes money they will start shadow banning you like shadow is it called shadow ban? Like shadow banning you and your content won't be on the For You page. So be mindful of that as well. I'm sorry to be kind of like all over the place, but I just was finally looking at the comments and I've been seeing a lot of different results from my creative program beta and I'm just like, okay, I think it's time for me to share with you guys what's been going on. So now I'm about to actually go on to my TikTok page. Now I'm about to go on to my TikTok page. <laughs> and let you guys see my dashboard so actually let me do this so this is my dashboard as you can see as of right now i'm at three thousand nine hundred and eighty one dollars and twenty five cents now most of that came from maybe one or two videos and i'm going to show you guys a little bit about how it shows you what you make per video um if i go down right here as you can see oops if i go down right here as you can see it shows you all the videos that were qualified for the creative program beta it also will tell you the ones that weren't qualified for the creative program beta but since I haven't had a lot of those lately, I'm not sure if it's going to show right here. But more of the story, if you go look at this, it shows you at the first one you see it, it paid me $1,191.58. If I press on to that video, it's going to tell you the estimate rewards you got for the video, the qualified views you got for the video, and your RPM for that video. So for this video, the RPM was... Um, one dollar and fifty one cent per a thousand video or for a thousand views um the estimate rewards was one thousand one hundred ninety one thousand one hundred ninety one and fifty eight cents but out of the one point five million views only seven hundred seven thousand eight hundred seven hundred and eighty five thousand seven hundred and eighty five point one k were qualified for the video and each day it goes up. So I remember at a point in time, I only got $600 for the video. But the more the video gets views, the more money you make. So let me see if I can go down a little bit more and show you guys what is. The, so as you can see, you don't always make a bunch of money off of your video. So let's go to this video. Um, I got the RPM for that one was $1.38, but I made. Um, a dollar and ten cents you know what I'm saying so it really just depends on the quality of that video it depends on how viral it goes and stuff like that overall I think that the creative program beta is good if you are consistent if you can figure out how to make original videos for the things that you're interested in making and anybody can do it though more of the story is anybody can do it um, I do have a second TikTok account that I'm getting ready to monetize. So if you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned, you guys will get all the scopes of how that process goes and what it looks like and how long it takes and all the mistakes I made with my second TikTok account. I believe you can only monetize three. So my goal is to get the max of three. So if you guys have not, make sure you guys go follow my TikTok accounts right here. Um, engage with me. Talk to me. Let me know if you guys want me to answer any more questions. And thank you guys for watching this video.